Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. My name is Ogo and I'm going to be showing you how I made this beautiful cake. So if it is something you are interested in, then keep watching. So we're going to be starting off with an 8 inch cake. I usually like to sandwich my cake with butter icing. This is because my cakes, they do come in two layers. Buttercream is one of my favorite method of frosting a cake. To me, I feel it's very, very easy to work with. And apart from being easy, I think it is not energy and time consuming at all. This cake actually took me 10 to 15 minutes to decorate. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using two different shades of buttercream. I'm going to be using the cream and um, sky blue. It's not limited to these colors. You can make do with any color of your choice. It depends on what you like. You can make do with probably pink or any other color of your choice. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be working with just cream and um, sky blue. The sky blue is going to be coming at the base, as you can see now. It's going to be coming at the base of the cake. So this is what we call two-tone cakes. <laughs> so these are the cake combs I'm going to be working with. They're actually my favorite though. So I'm going to be using the rectangle one by the side and the triangle one on top. What I'm basically doing right now is I'm just using the smooth part of the comb to smoothen the side of the cake. This will help me to check if there is any limited butter icing at some point of the cake. And if there is, all I just need to do is just add some more buttercream, then I'll keep combing. So it's now time to, uh, to introduce the serrated part of the cake comb. This helps to give the cake some more definitions. So for the top of the cake, I'm going to be combing it with the triangle comb. So at this point of the video, I didn't even know I was actually blocking the camera. But basically what I was doing was that I was just using the triangle comb to comb the edges of the um, cake towards the middle. Just like what I did by the side of the cake. But now I'm combing them from the edge of the cake towards the middle of the cake and that's it okay now that our cake is almost 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 ready as you can see it's now time to add some more beauty to it so now i'm introducing the chocolate drippings i'm not going to put it towards the the whole circle i'm just going to do it halfway down right now i'm piping with a um a 1m nozzle i'm going to be piping the top and the base with this 1m nozzle using nozzles are not difficult as well if you want me to make a video on it you just put a comment down below for me and i'll be very very glad to to attend to that as well Okay, now that our cake is almost done, please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button and then give me some likes and I'll be very, very grateful. It's really going to help my video. And then um, please don't forget to give me a comment. Whatever it is you want me to do, please just put it at the comment section and I'll be glad to do it. Buttercream is very, very easy. As you can see, the beauty is almost pronounced. So it's now time to add some sprinkles to our cake just to give it some more definitions and beauty. That's the butterfly I'm adding towards the edge there. It's not compulsory the butterfly must be the same shade with the colors you're working with. No, you can put in different shades of butterflies and it will just stand out. So these are the sprinkles I'll be using on top of the cake. As you can see, our cake is done. It's as simple as that. Buttercream is very, very easy. And um, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'm really grateful. 
I will see you in my next video. Bye.